Hey, Andy here. Today we'll take a look on how cloth stimulation works and how it makes the character feel more alive. Since I remodeled the main character of my game, it was a conscious decision to add clothing that is perfectly suited to utilize cloth physics. But how does it work? For the method that I'm using, it is required to set up dedicated bone hierarchies for each piece of cloth that should be affected by the simulation. These are bones similar to the ones in almost every video game character that you've ever seen. It's also very important to tell every bone which part of the clothing should be affected by it. This is done by painting masks directly on the model. Color gradients mean that transitions between bones are smooth and not hard edges. We can now head over to the engine and add a component to the main character that handles the actual cloth simulation. Inside the component we can connect all the cloth bones, apply a preset like cotton and tweak some settings. We can also exclude specific bones from the simulation. This usually makes sense for the first one or two bones in the chain, since these bones fit close to the body and are not significantly influenced by motion or other factors like wind. The simulation is already working now, but there's still a problem we need to solve. Currently the cloth can clip through the character. We can prevent this by adding cloth colliders, invisible objects that the cloth collides with. Now the cloth is behaving correctly, and we can test it by moving the character around. We can also add wind to our scene and experiment with its settings. We can change the force of the wind, add some noise to it so it's not a constant force, and of course change the direction of the wind. There's one more cool thing I'd like to show you. We can also use a cloth physics component to apply hair physics to the character. I've added bones to some single hair strands as well, and I can now add yet another simulation component just for the hair physics. But for this component I need to assign a different preset than cotton. Since hair doesn't behave like cloth and needs to be stiffer and more weighty. We can now admire the beauty of the simulation in action. It looks great. What's your opinion on it? This wraps up today's video. In the next video we'll implement basic movement and I can finally showcase some of the new animations. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.